Hello, in this video, we will learn about homeostasis. Let's get started. In the video on milieu interior, we have seen that all the cells in the body are living in an ocean of extracellular fluid. The extracellular fluid provides the condition in which all the cells thrive. It provides glucose, oxygen, optimal temperature, and hundreds of other things required by the cells. For well being of the cells, this environment needs to be maintained nearly constant. Glucose, oxygen, temperature and all other parameters also need to be maintained within an optimal range. In fact, all the cells, tissues, organs and organ systems contribute to maintaining the internal environment at a constant level. This ongoing process of maintaining the internal environment at a constant level is called homeostasis. The most common mechanism in homeostasis is negative feedback. That is, when any parameter deviates from the optimal range, the control system tries to bring it back to the optimal range. For example, when glucose level increases, the pancreas releases insulin. This insulin increases glucose uptake in liver and fat. So the glucose level comes back to the initial value. On the other hand, if glucose level decreases, the pancreas releases glucagon. This glucagon makes the liver release glucose. So glucose level increases. Thus, the negative feedback mechanism keeps the parameter within an optimal range. If the parameter increases too much, feedback decreases it. And if there is too much decrease, the feedback increases it. There are three main parts of any feedback system. The first is to sense the change in the parameter. The second is to compare the change with a reference value or a set point for that parameter. And third is to produce an output signal that initiates the response to bring the parameter back towards the set point. Let's understand this with control of body temperature. We have thermoreceptors in skin that detects the temperature. When there is rise in body temperature, it is detected by these receptors. The signals are then sent to the brain. The brain compares it with the set point and says, oh, it's rise in temperature, so we need to decrease it. Then it sends the signal to the sweat glands to sweat. The sweating brings the body temperature back to normal. On the other hand, if there is decrease in body temperature, the brain says muscles to shiver. This generates heat and again brings the body temperature back to normal. Thus negative feedback counteracts the initial change. There are also some positive feedback control systems. In this, change in the parameter is further intensified rather than balancing it. For example, uterine contractions during childbirth. Contraction of uterus pushes the baby through the cervix. Stretching of the cervix sends signals to the uterus to produce even more powerful contractions. This positive feedback makes the uterine contraction more and more powerful. When this process becomes powerful enough, the baby is born. Another example of positive feedback is activation of some clotting factors during coagulation cascade. So this was about positive feedback. We have seen examples of feedbacks in isolation and in very simplified way. In the body, however, they are part of large and complex network of controls. This control system contributes to homeostasis and good health. When the homeostasis is disrupted, the result can be disease or death. For example, if insulin is not secreted in response to increased glucose, the body suffers various complications of diabetes. So this was about homeostasis. In summary, homeostasis is maintenance of a nearly constant internal environment. All the cells, tissues, organs and organ systems contribute to homeostasis. The most common mechanism of homeostasis is negative feedback control. Disrupted homeostasis can lead to diseases or death. That's it for this video. If you feel this video will help your friends and colleagues, please share it with them too. And don't forget to subscribe because lots more to come. At Nonstop Neuron, learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.